What's happening people? Welcome to another episode of Get That Smoke. Now in today's episode, I've been looking forward to doing this one. I've got to show you guys where I've come from. Some of you guys may not believe that I've actually done this journey. I've gone from 17 stone, if not more, to where I'm at now, just above 12 and a half. 12 stone, 8 pounds, so we're just above that 12 and a half mark. But we're getting there people. Look, here we are. You can't slack. You can't say we don't put in that work. Because that's what we're doing. We're trying little flex for you guys. That's how we're doing it. But on today's, like I said, I'm going to show the transformation of where I've come from. It's not quite how I wanted to do it. I wanted to be able to have the video editing equipment and all that for my laptop. Um, so I could actually have myself still on screen, still talking to you guys through the whole thing while I show you the pictures. I'll still be able to talk. Um, but I just won't be on screen, so you might have to miss me. Um, don't get used to the old me. You can't be doing that. No one wants the old me. Believe me, no one wants the old me. <laughs> but just a little sneak preview before I get in, you know. This is what I was looking. This is what I was looking. Oof, oof, look at that. You don't want that guy. You don't want that guy. You want this, Jimmy. You want me. This is how we're doing it. Get that smoke. 17 stone, down to 12 and a half. We're still going, trying to get to 11. Stay on the journey, people. Stay watching the journey. And please join me on it. I'd love to hear from you guys. I know I have heard from a few people in the past. I'd love to hear from you guys. Always feel free to message me. Drop a comment. All of that. And I'll always get back to you. Any help you need. I'm there, guys. I'm here for myself. But I'm putting this out there for you guys as well. If you want to join me on the journey, feel free. Just do what you're doing. Crack on with it. Put in that work. And if you need any help or you want to message me, just for a bit of back and forth support, feel free to do so. I'm always here. But let's get on with the slideshow. Check this out, people. You might be flabbergasted. You may be blown away. We'll see. Anyway, just don't be put off by how I used to look. This is me now. So I still support the channel. Follow us, guys. Get that smoke. Anyway, no more talking. I'll let you guys see this. So here you can see, people. This is me at 16. Not looking too bad in decent shape i was still going gym still working out pretty consistently but then gradually i got lazy and started to put on the pounds here as you can see trying to hide the belly in the shirt and it's just not happening is it look at the state of me this is meant to be me on a night out about to go out but predominantly in this slideshow just focus on my face that's all you're really going to see anyway because i never took pictures with my body in them back then but wow just look look like an ogre bloody hell this is embarrassing like, it's actually crazy looking back at these pictures. Like, just look at the bottom two there. I'm, this whole stage of my life, I just look like a hobo. Someone needed to slap me and just send me to the gym. Like, just sponsor me a month's gym membership and just tell me to go. Like, here's the definition. This one. Definition of the hobo stage. Hair, beard, face. Absolute mess. Just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I can't believe that I actually look like this. And I didn't think there was much wrong with me at the time. Like... I don't know what I was thinking, but here is where I gradually was starting to get back into the gym and uh, try to, well, here you can see, only one without a female anyway, so no one wanted that geezer, let's be honest, but um, gradually getting back into the gym and trying, well, I don't know what I was trying to do because I was still eating shit and I was uh, mainly just lifting weights when really I should have been smashing that cardio every single day, that's what I needed to do, like I am now. Because I was thinking, oh yeah, Mr. Big Man, lifting some weights. But really, I was only a big man because of my belly. When I needed to smash the cardio, shed them pounds, and just completely just smash it. Like I have been starting here. This is the start of the lockdown. And this is when I was actually putting in that work. As you can see, back in the vests then. Showing off my progress, them gains. Slowly getting on it. Here with my guy Ant. We've done a little garden workout. Finished off with a spa. And then my guy C4 came through, same again, garden workouts, jogging, all of that. And Levs, big man, that's what we were doing. I was putting in that work all the time. And then my my pals would come through and just jump on a little workout. Here we are, Skegness, still putting that work, jog on the beach. I was loving it. That was an enjoyment for me now. Anyway, just chilling. Late night jogs as well. Like I said, I train twice a day generally when I ain't got my kids. Gym in the day, flexing here. And then jogs on the night because my gym's shutting at nine while this coronavirus is still going on. But anyway, flexing all the time now. 
just showing them gains. So you can see how far I've come, people, from 17 stone to here now, actually taking pictures, putting them on the internet with no top on to show you guys the progress. And then the final snap you'll see with the progress is the side on view. So there you have it, people. You've seen the journey, you've seen where I've come from, and now you see where I'm at. So now people can believe what I'm doing is actually working. I'm not some guy who's just actually been looking like this for the past two years and for let me just blag a fitness page. That is me. Um, for most of my life, I've struggled with weight. Anyone who knows me personally knows that's a fact. Anyone who knows me throughout school and my childhood and growing up as a teenager knows that that is a fact. I lost weight when I was in year nine up until I left school and then I got an office job and then I got a girlfriend and then I got and then I started having kids and then I just you know it all just falls off um you become lazy you become content you become comfortable since all that's changed and I'm uh you know now a single man again for the past two years um change needed to happen um so I've done this for myself to feel better within myself um in this lockdown, I didn't have a lot going for myself, didn't have any regular work, anything coming in. Um, I couldn't have my kids for certain situa uh, certain reasons to do with their mum. She was high risk. Um, so I was just all stuck by myself. And in that time, you can get feeling a bit shit, a bit down on yourself, um, stuck in your house, nothing to do. We've all been through this lockdown. We know how bad it and how weird of a situation it's been. Um, so I had to switch it up had to do something and for me I chose to focus on myself and bettering myself and since then I've come a long way four and a half stone down from 17 or just above to 12 and a half more or less it's been a long road but it was worth it people trust me you think you can't do it I'm just a normal guy who decided to do it for myself I'm 23 years old I'm not a fitness instructor I've not got any sort of sports science interests or, you know, um, knowledge or anything. I'm just a guy who listened to the things that I see. Um, I watch a lot of, like I said, I watch a lot of combat sports, boxing, MMA fighters. And they just talk about putting in that work, the grind, how much, you know, how much effort it takes. Watching the likes of Tyson Fury, I've said it before, he may have lots of money, but... That money and them trainers aren't going to carve his belly off. At the end of the day, he had to put in that work. I used to watch what he would do. He would just go out running. I thought, I can do that as well. And you can do that as well. As long as you've got two able legs and a pair of trainers. Just get outside and start running. Focus on your, focus on your exercise and focus on your diet. Stop eating loads of junk food. And stop snacking in them evenings. I know it can be hard. But it's what you need to do if you want to lose weight. Trust me I've said it before. That five minutes of enjoyment while you're munching on your cake. Or a big family sized bag of crisps. That was my one. That was my cheat thing. I really struggled with them crisps. But um, yeah. That's five minutes of enjoyment. Think about fitting into a medium sized top. If you're a XL right now. Think about it. How good would you feel? Go look in your wardrobe and see if you've got any old clothes you used to love. Think about how great it would feel if you could wear that again on a night out or for a fancy meal or anything. Just think about it. You'd feel great all month knowing that you've got a whole new wardrobe of looking good. So trust me, people. It's time to do it. It's time to feel good. This lockdown's been shit enough. It's time, it's time to end this year on a high note of feeling good, feeling positive. And just once again, we want to go into 2021, a new you, and just love yourself, people. That's all you got to do. If you can start working towards bettering yourself by the end of this year, trust me, you're going to love yourself. So start working, stay committed, stay dedicated, join me on this journey, like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that, people. We're on Facebook at Get That Smoke, Twitter at Get That Smoke UK. And Instagram, once again, at Get That Smoke UK. Follow us on all the social medias, people. Subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment. Drop me a message. Whatever you feel like. I've been Jimmy. This is Get That Smoke. And I'll catch you in the next video.